everybody, welcome to The List. I'm your host, Jesse Combs. Now, changing a tire is something that you could figure out on the fly if you absolutely needed to, but it's surprising how many people don't actually know how to do it. So, here's a quick guide on how to change your own tire. So you're driving down the road and boom, you get a tire blowout. First thing you wanna do is hit your hazards and pull over as quickly as possible. Once you get to a safe spot, put on your e-brake and that's very important because you don't want the car rolling on you when you're working on it. Check your rear view mirrors, make sure there's no traffic coming and start getting to work. Now in most cars, the spare tire is located in the trunk underneath the carpet, but because this is a truck, it's located underneath the bed. My tools are behind the seat instead of in the trunk as well. As a security measure, they put a lock right here to the access point into the spare tire. You gotta follow the path, figure out where it goes. Once you feel it, grab onto the bolt on the inside. Use my tire iron and start loosening the tire. Now that the tire's on the ground and free and clear from any pulleys, I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit for a safety measure. That way, if when we're jacking it up, the truck happens to fall for any reason, it's gonna fall on the tire instead of falling all the way to the ground, crushing me or something else underneath the truck. Before you start lifting up the car, you wanna use the ground as resistance as you're loosening up the lug nuts. Because if the truck were up in the air and you're loosening the lug nuts, the wheel just will keep spinning around and you're not gonna get anywhere. It's a good idea to familiarize yourself with your car before you get into this situation and know where the manufacturer's suggested jacking points are. On this truck, it's between the differential and the tire right on the axle tube. All right, with the jack in place, we're gonna use the same tools that we use to lower the spare tire to activate the jack upwards. With the tire completely up and off the ground, we can remove the rest of the lug nuts. And I like to keep them underneath the profile of the car just so they're not getting kicked around because you don't wanna go chasing after them in the street. All right, now we wanna do that whole process in reverse. So you wanna take your spare tire and get it as close to your hub as possible. Make sure those lugs are lined up. And there you go. You can finger tighten your lug nuts as tightly as possible. And then once they're all in place, we'll take our tire iron. And the most important thing about this is we wanna tighten in a star pattern. So you go directly across from the one that you just left until they're all tightened. Before I tighten them all the way, I'm gonna lower the truck so I can tighten them extra tight using the ground as resistance. Remember keeping it in your star pattern. All right, the majority of the hard work is done. Now keep in mind, you don't wanna be driving long distances on your spare tire, nor do you wanna be driving at excessive speeds, which means that you're gonna to wanna to replace your tire as quickly as possible so you're good and you're safe. With the tips and the tricks that I showed you today, we can officially check change a tire off of our list. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.